is up, y'all. Mav Attack, PAX East 2020, Austin, get it. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Mav Attack. Appreciate you guys for stopping by the video. Real quick before we get the vlog started, I want to say a big thank you to the people over at PAX for allowing me to attend as a content creator. I got to check out a lot of different games, so that was a really dope time. Also, big shout out to everybody who took the time out of their day to stop by and say what's up to me on the show floor. And lastly, this video was sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a free-to-play dark RPG available on PC and cross mobile device. In Raid Shadow Legends, you do a lot of battling, but to battle, you have to have champions. So today we're going to focus on the shard aspect of the game. Now in order to get champions, you want to go to the portal where you open up shards. Now there are different tiered shards, but you spend coin to open up shards. And when you open up shards, you get a special champion. Now some of the champions can be really good for you, and some of the champions can be really bad for you. Depending on the champion's rarity and abilities, you can either trash them or keep them for your collection. If you don't like a champion's ability, for example, I got the champion Skull Squire, which I wasn't really a fan of his abilities, so I decided to keep him for later so I could scrap him and increase the abilities of a different champion than I unlocked. So I used another shard for another champion and I got Lamellar, which I'm not really a fan of his abilities either, so I decided to keep him for later. And I actually got one that I was a fan of called the Coffin Smasher. Now I needed a brute character on my squad so this dude was like perfect for me. So now I could take Coffin Smasher into the tavern and level him up from there. You do this by selecting the champion you want to level up and then you can add in the champions that you don't want to use to level up your actual champion. The shard system is a really dope system because once you unlock champions with shards, you can then either delegate whether you want to use that champion for yourself or recycle that champion to level up your future use champions. So Raid Shadow Legends has a battle pass feature. You can currently get in on season one of the battle pass. The battle pass offers rewards like energy refills, gems, upgraded artifact sets, and more. You can go ahead and look up your boy under the username MavAttack5 and I can give you these hands. Now, if you guys would do me a favor, click the link in the description below. It would help your boy out a ton. And if you're a new player, you get access to 100,000 silver coins, two clan boss keys, 10 mystery shards for champion unlocks, as well as one free champion, the Adjudicator, this badass high elf. So make sure you click the link in the description below and find your extra rewards in your inbox for the next 30 days only. You got 30 days. Huge shout out to Raid Shadow Legends for the sponsorship and huge shout out to you guys for watching. Enjoy. PAX East 2020. What's up, y'all? Mav Attack, PAX East 2020, Austin, get it. Something special. 
Yo, I just want to tell you guys about Ghost Runner, probably the coolest game I played at PAX. A huge shout out to AJ with Stride PR for getting me past the line and letting me try the game out for myself. That's a first person cyberpunk hack and slash game where it's one shot kill for you and the enemies. Huge emphasis on fast paced movement. I, I can't wait for this freaking game. You guys definitely want to keep this one on your radar. Oh, and it dropped. Oh, shit. Uh -oh. Yo, big shout out to Samurai Punk for providing me a free copy of Roombo First Blood on Steam. Yo, appreciate you guys for that. Oh. Well, I just want to say shout out to the Polish people, man. They consistently put parties together. Man, I can't do this. I've been drinking. Leave me alone. Yo, what's up, man? Big, big shout out to the, the Polish Games Foundation, the, the Indie Games Poland, for hosting this event like pretty much every pack. I can see you guys, that's what I'm saying. What's learning? Appreciate you guys for having us. That's it. Peace. Thank you guys all so much for watching again i hope you enjoyed the vlog a little bit shorter than usual vlogs but i just wanted to enjoy my time there and spend some time kind of doing some networking talking to devs here and there i appreciate everybody's support uh, up until this point if you follow me on social media you'll notice that i put out some tweets that basically say that i'm gonna be done with content creation or maybe just creating content on youtube i am going to be working on like one kind of bigger documentary kind of talking about my entire journey uh, on youtube as a gamer just kind of my experience experience with everything, the goods, the bads, people who I met, you know, all the experiences I had along the way. It's been a good ride for sure. I may continue live streaming over on Twitch. That That's kind of like my thing. I, I do and really enjoy the live streaming stuff. My YouTube channel has definitely been, been ruined and, and kind of killed by myself and by, you know, the community of others kind of in part kind of all played a role. I won't give up on live streaming. I just want to kind of do things for myself, uh, find my happiness, and then I can probably return to it and enjoy myself as far as that goes. But I just wanted to say thank you guys for supporting my journey here on YouTube. Like I said, I will be producing a full documentary, just kind of talking about and showing the whole journey as far as like when I, even before I started my YouTube channel, like I have some really early video of me as a, as a little youngin uh, recording myself playing games. A lot of goofy stuff that I wish I could have showed like at bigger, bigger milestones, but you know, it's still something that I want to show to the people who support me and that we're along for this journey. So I'm also considering opening up a GoFundMe where I can kind of fund a higher production value for the documentary, as well as releasing my one and only merchandise line, at least uh, for this, you know, end of an era type of thing. So to those who have supported me and who have been asking for that for for Mav merch for quite some time, uh, I'll we'll we'll be working on some for sure. So be on the lookout for that. But again, thank you guys all so much for watching. Tack that like if you enjoyed. That's all I got.
I'm Mav Attack, and that's that. Motherfucker! <laughs>